I never met these these guys before when they work out in their teams and stuff. My dream was to meet them and like learn what they know, learn these moves that they do. Like for instance, Hitman. I remember my first time meeting Hitman. I was excited. I had a big cheesy smile on my face. I was like, wow, I'm meeting Hitman. Yeah, you know, I always wanted to know how he does the Tiger Bands handstands. You know, that was that was my dream to you know try to learn that. Same thing like like Beast. Beast. I saw Beast do a wild muscle before. I never even thought of doing a wild muscle. I just thought it was a regular simple muscle. I wanted Beast to teach me that move. Same thing like Doc. I seen Doc do these crazy push-ups before, like this, crossover, and then you know doing sets like that. I always wanted him to teach me stuff like that. And when I first met these guys, I was like, wow, this you know, is crazy, you know, I'm meeting these dudes for the first time. It's like a dream come true. And then at the tournament, I see all these guys, you know, of course I want to show off, you know, get a little attention. Do, I mean, do your thing. You know? Do my thing, yeah. Show them what thing. you can do. Show them so, what, with, with their influence brought forth on him, you know, because it, it wasn't just dudes at Highland getting in there. He's learning from everybody. And that's why I say this is a movement, because everybody's learning from everybody. That's why I truly feel that each one teach one. A lot of people saying that, but I don't think too many dudes are really really understanding that phrase and really feeling that. Well, yeah, I'm going to ask you some questions. You know what I'm saying? Don't. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to get nervous about it. I see you sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it genuine. Like, like, like the dude you are. I know you're going to but anyway, um, how did you feel about the situation? You, you heard people making these comments and all that. How did you feel about it? Actually, I, I ain't hear nobody, um, you know, make a comment or anything about me, like, you know, bad stuff. I just heard, like, good things. I heard, oh, Joe, you did your thing on the ball. Give me a pound. Oh, Joe, I like what you did. I like your routine. Oh, Joe, you know, that, you know, it takes real strength to do that. You know, everybody was saying that. But then when I heard Hitman come out and, you know, came at me saying something about, Oh, you want to roll with the big dogs? Sign, sign, sign like that. I don't remember much, but I remember saying something like that. You want to roll with the big dogs? Blah, 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 blah. You're no okay. kid. I was like, aren't y'all supposed to be teaching the youth so the youth could bring this up? That's a good point, right? I remember Tech telling me he's going to pass the torch to me or something like that. You know, you know, it's the youth. Teaching the youth. He's, you know, I look up to these guys to teach me and keep, oh, keep their word. And as far as I know, when Hitman said that, I felt like he didn't mean that. Like, he wanted to keep this stuff to him stuff and keep it as that man stuff. You know, just because I joined the competition doesn't mean I can't be a part of that. I mean, like, I just felt bad about that. Like, I felt, I felt disappointed. And then, I, in a way, I felt them motivated. Like, if I had to come out even harder and do some moves that nobody ever seen before, and then, you know, they even, like, realized out there that. You know, one of these days they will say that I'm, you know, I'm like Beast or something like that, you know, get my name out there. So when somebody be like, yo, you ever met Joe before? And be like, yeah, Joe's the one that did that move that was crazy on the pull-up bar. I, you know, that's how I remember Beast. Beast was saying something like that to me before, saying that, you know, when people call him out, um, saying that, you know, if they know Beast, be like, yeah, Beast is the one that was doing, you know, handstands on the um, um, plank push-ups on the dip bar. You know, I, I felt good about that. Hold on, bro. Basically, I think what's going on here, like I said in the beginning, it was all about the approach. You know, the thing with YouTube is, this is good. This is a good medium to to expose everybody and expose what we're doing out in the parks and everything. But you also got to be real careful about how you address yourself and how you present yourself. And like I said, shout out to Hit and, and everybody else that's, that's, that's working out. But um, you know, I was just disappointed in how he came at me like this, you know what I mean? He, he has my number and once I seen the comments that he put up on, on one of the um, interviews, first thing I did after I replied, you know, like wondering what was going on, I gave him a call. I called him up because I got the number. I got I got basically everybody number. So I called him up like, yo, hey, what's up, man? What's going on? We talked for about an hour on this situation, and we squashed it, you know. I, as far as I know, everything everything is peace. But then the video came out, and I respect him. Like I said, we, we could have took it down, but I said, no, nah, you know what? He's a man, and he got every right 
to voice his opinion. So I just wanted to clear the air on my side and let everybody know that you know there, there is no love lost here, and I'm not hating on him. I'm not hating on nobody else, and I think everybody know as I present myself, I'm a real dude, you know. And like I said, you know, people are throwing the top, they have them phrases around, but I don't think they're really understanding what they mean. You know, each one teach one. That means if I know something and I can share with you, I share with you. And if you know something you can share with me, you share with me. And we keep this going around in a circle, you know. It's, it's not about me just knowing something and, and keeping it to myself. I'm trying to spread the love to everybody, you know. And, and, and I think that's my position that I'm playing in this. And like I said, you know, we just really got to be careful about how we present ourselves. And like I said, much respect to everybody out there. Everybody I know, I always give y'all a shout out. It's, it's all love with me. And I said, bandana red, not red bandana. Yo, we're going to take this last, this last few minutes that we have and concentrate on, on, on T.I. Joe. You know what I'm saying? Because this is youth right here. This is what we're working for. I'm saying these 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 people like him are the ones that are represent us in the future, you know what I'm saying? Because ain't we ain't guaranteed to be doing this all our lives, you know. So we got the youth here. You know what I'm saying? So pass you how, do you, how do you feel? Do you feel that you're a role model? You know what I'm saying? Do you want people to look at you as a role model? Or do you want them to look at you as you? You know what I'm saying? As, a, as just an individual trying to do what he's doing. I feel like a role model because like at the BX Stream um competition, I had these little kids come out to me. It made me smile. I was like, wow, these kids looking up to me. These kids are like, yo, this is G.I. Joe right here. He's only 15. And they was like, man, if you could do it, I believe I could do it. And I told them, don't believe in this word, I can't. You know, don't let nobody tell you you can't do this because you always could. And then, you know, that was at the BX Stream um, competition, but that, that's not the only place that happened to me before. It happened to me other places, like in my farm. Highland Park, I had kids come up to me and tell me, oh, how do you do this move? I'll teach them. Like, same way that somebody else taught me. Like, if somebody teach me um, how to do a muscle, I'm not going to keep it to myself. I'm going to teach somebody how to do a muscle if they want to learn. And that's why, like, they, they got to want to learn it, you know, because I tell them all the time. This is a kid I work out with, and I say he's my brother, because I, I knew him for so long. And I tell him, yo, if you really want this, you got to really work for it. You can't just expect it to come to you like that. You know, you got to work hard for it. And he, he wants to learn the muscle, I told him the muscle. I told him the way Doc taught me. Doc taught me the muscle up before. He taught me how to do a wild muscle up. I taught him how to do it. And this kid is looking up to me. He's looking at me like a role model when I'm working out. And I feel good about myself. I feel like I could be like one of these main guys, or should I say like these, these key, key guys, key players, yeah, like these key players that everybody look up to like a role model. I feel like that, kind of. I feel like that. Now, I like for people to come up to my park and work out with me also. You know, like Zeph. Zeph came to my park before and worked out with us. He taught us some moves on swings. I never thought you could do a routine on a swing. He was doing push-ups on a swing with, with ab workout. I was like, wow, he's really teaching the Highlanders that move. And then when we put it on YouTube, everybody else watch and everybody learns also. And Beast come out to our park, Highland, and he, he works out sometimes. You know, he does what he does. Who else came to our park? Um, who else? Foam, foam, yeah, foam. <laughs> you know I was gonna look at you. Foam <laughs> came to our park and did some extreme stuff. And every time Foam comes to the park, he does something on the on the ball. And what do I say? I say, okay, everybody leave the park. The park is closed. Now, I'm hot. not saying that in disrespect to nobody that's that's working out. That's just my saying. All right, all right. He did his thing. Park is closed. What is it, Highlanders 36? That you say something like that too? Any any joint that he's on. Park is closed after he get on the, on the bars. He make the bars hot. Now on top of that, you know what I'm saying? We never, I haven't asked you this, but who is the main person that you really look up to in this game? You know what I'm saying? Being a key player. Everybody? One person? Yeah, just one person. There's got to be one that oversells everybody else. Who would that be? Beast. I really, I really, I really like Beast. Beast, you know, I, I see him a lot of times in my park more than any of these other guys that I've seen working out. And I really look up to him because he teaches me some stuff. And I, I look forward to learning it and hopefully be like Beast one day. Or if not, be better, you know? Because I'm young and I got a lot of energy, you know? Everybody says that.